Hey everybody, Casey Nelson here. We're throwing down a Caitlyn Guide Season 5 today. And I love Caitlyn. She's a really good source of consistent damage late game. And if you're just starting in the ADC role, she's a really good champion to learn. And if you uh, need to know the masters and runes that I run, I go. there's a uh, link in the bottom of the co oh, comment section that will go ahead and uh, check that out. And I'm trying to get a kill here. But, well, nope. Okay, so let me rephrase here. Uh, Caitlyn's really good, right? She is really easy to farm with in lane. She has really good range. And so if you're beginning, you can, you know, be a bully in lane if you want. Or you can use her range to safely farm. And in this video, again, I'm going to go over my thought process, how to play her, some tips and tricks you can use with her. Um, we're at Diamond 4 right now, so um, some pretty good gameplay, hopefully. And hopefully I can show you how to become a better ADC. Now, as far as the skills order, I max my Q. It's a good harassment tool in lane, followed by one point in W at level 2 or 3. Uh, depending on if you think you're going to get ganked, you might need that net to get away instead. And then I'll max E second, followed by obviously alts when needed. Now with her passive, every seven basic attacks, you do more damage on your next attack. And if you're in a bush, that count doubles every shot. So if you can fight within the bush, that's you know a good tip there. As you can see, it goes two, four, six, and then throwing down the extra damage so when your passive is up you can look at trading uh, with the enemy ADC hitting a squishy target getting that trade damage down so we're just going to harass try and save blitz here and we get out so I'm happy with that now going against the jinx in lane um, we do have the range advantage when she uses her minigun but when she uses her rockets she does have good range on that so we just kind of want to be aware. Now I passives up. Oh, we're going to do that, do that. And that's a good trade for us. So now we want to try and get level 2 first because if we do, we can zone them out. So I'm going to actually just try and hit these minions real quick. And on your passive, if you can't hit you know, the enemy ADC, then you can go ahead and you know easily farm with it. Maybe try and hit a cannon minion. So I want level 2. Oh, here we go. We're just going to go for Jinx instead, since she is the squishy target. Passes up. Try and hit you know, an enemy champ and get some nice extended damage there. And we're doing pretty well in lane. Make sure we hit this here. There we go. Okay. So when you get up to this kind of point, you kind of want to try and zone them out of getting the creeps and just kind of you can use your Q to get some nice range down now level three we got a trap and you can have three traps up at a time so a couple different ways you can play your traps you can zone them out there we go you can zone them out and put them around the turret or you can use them defensively and throw them in the bushes I like throwing them in the bushes oh get some free damage here I like throwing them in the bushes because they tend to forget about them and so it and engages where maybe our jungler comes to gank for whatever reason they'll always hit the trap and it's usually free damage so and sometimes they can get you a kill because they forget about the trap so traps up put it down and you can put the traps here in tri bush if you want maybe their jungler will hit it but at this point we're just zoning out here we go oh and we're just zoning. So I'm going to go place a ward. Around three and a half minutes is the time where a jungler gank could come in. So make sure you're putting your wards in Tribush and at the River Dragon. And again, we'll continue to just place our wards defensively. And look at I mean, our range is just so big that we'll go ahead and throw it down. So they exhausted. So that obviously means that they're coming in. And I think they're just dead anyways. So... We'll try and get as much you know damage back as we can, but um, at that point you kind of definitely want your river warded. If it was warded, we would have saw that coming. So, and he's trying to come back. I'm just gonna say, hey, Blitz, let's make sure we ward the river. So, 
but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. So Johnny's going mid so I can be a little more aggressive. And we're just slowly farming. Now my ward's gone and I don't know where Sajani is. So we do want to make sure definitely we're playing passive. And if they start to be really aggressive out of nowhere, that's when we know that they have a jungler coming in. So, oh, got my passive up. Again, if you can't get the champion, that's okay. Uh, he's, oh, he's going to hit the trap, I bet. Nope. So 15.50 is our goal. Um, I don't want to push this lane. I kind of want to stay here because we do need that ward. So maybe Blitz can go ward. We don't have any vision on it. So All right, cool. Good work, good work. Now when you want to trade in lane, you can do a nice little combo. It's uh, you press, you basically net them, and then you press Q right away. And what that's going to do is make you too far out of range for them to hit you, but it will hit them, and the net will slow them enough that you can just Q right away, and it's going to do some pretty nice damage. So let's see if we can't show the kids here how it's done. But I don't have any vision, so I'm going to make sure... Oh, so Johnny's middle anyways, so that's okay. So again, if you want to EQ combo. Notice how I did that there. Again, the net will slow them enough that you can just Q them and get some good damage and not get traded back on. So, But I'm happy with how this lane's going so far because we are at our peak gold count. Yeah. Just tell Blitz, hey, BF Sword. Now with you and your support, ten, you typically want to go back at the same time so they can buy as well and that you both come back to lane with upgraded items. In this case, I'm going to get a pink ward and some health pots. Get a pink ward and putting it here. It's obviously going to last until they destroy it. So you can get a little more value out of it. And I like to use the pink ward if we're going to be a little more aggressive. That way they don't have a chance to push the wave towards us and get an easy clear on the pink. Otherwise, if you don't want to be aggressive, just you can go buy a normal ward. It's really up to you. So... Jinx is going back. CSYs were up about a wave. And we'll just keep on grinding. So the wave's pushing us, which is nice. Um, we basically want to kind of freeze the lane. And we'll thin it out just a little bit because it will push and we don't want to hit the tower. We want it to kind of stay right here. So this is actually really good for us. And perfect. Let's go lay down our pink, and we're in business. So we got two traps here. We can probably lay down a third trap. You can probably put it just along the wall. That way, if they do come, they have to go around it. And they are kind of screwed. Blitz is dead Zs. We're just gonna let them die. There's no point in going and fighting that. And first dragon, it's okay to give up. It's only six percent attack damage. This early in the game, we don't really have a lot of big items, so 6% really is not going to be super noticeable. However, they just did dragon, so I'm a little afraid to push too far. I'm going to try and push the lane here. That way, if they, they're forced to come back and miss some CS if they don't. So Until I get some vision. I'm going to go throw down vision in the river. That way, we're perfectly covered. All right, cool. So Brom's coming in. He has a scanner ward. Not to worry about that. We see Sajani at blue, so that tells us, hey, don't be too aggressive because he can easily come down. And my flash is up, so I gotta kind of be aware that hey, might need to use that. So, and I'm gonna throw down some defensive wards here. He's gonna try and clear that trap. I have a feeling. But we'll let that lane push. Come on over. Again, if you want to trade, try the EQ combo. But Brahm's pretty good at protecting. So Sajrani's middle, so we can actually probably start a f fighting here. If we want. 
Rom's just so tanky. But we're going to build up towards Infinity Edge, then uh, either Fam Dancer or Static Shiv, followed by Last Whisper because they got a pretty tanky comp. So, throw down. Alright, so don't see Sejuani on the map just yet. And we'll just push this here. So Johnny's middle, so we're okay to push up a little bit. So I have my passive looking to hit Jinx. Again, EQ. That's usually the best way to do it. So, um, Blitz. Blitz go mid. Alright, so we gotta just... I'm going to double pop here and get our health back up. And we're looking to just try and survive here. Just farm out tower. They might dive. They could easily dive. So I'm going to say, hey, guys, need some help. I see Vi coming, so I don't want to I don't want to be too aggressive because then they'll be like, hey, wait a second. And now we go. Got one. Do have my ult. And we got the second. So I was going to ultimate there, maybe get the kill, but we got both of them. Again, we kind of didn't show our hand too early. So I'm happy. I'm happy with that. And then we're going to push. Basically, their lane is donezo for now. And so we want to make sure that they don't get any of this CS. So that's why you push. Now I am low, so I'm gonna buy. Oh, I, oh, there's the Johnny. We'll just throw a trap, make her. Oops, peace. So Blitz is just playing a little too aggressive right now. Definitely needs to recognize, you know, when you're being greedy, and just take what the enemy gives you. So we didn't know where Sajani was. And uh, Blitz knows he got to, he went greedy there, but that's okay. So we're building up towards our wonderful Infinity Edge. Farm-wise, how are we doing? 97, 81, perfect. Our damage is going to be pretty nice. So when you come back, you know, Jinx were up and damage a cloak. And so if you want to trade with Jinx, again, net her and then use your Q right away. And then you can even use your ultimate right after the E Q ultimate combo. It's gonna bring her down to below half health and force her to go back, at the very least. So, all right, let's do this. Again, putting our wards down here. It's really easy to forget about the wards. So, pushing the lane. Probably Jinx went. Where where did Jinx go? Alright, by putting pressure on the lane, it forces them to either bring Sejuani bottom, freeing our other lanes up a little bit. Ooh, here we go. Make sure you have your three traps down at all times. <gasps> Alright, I have my ultimate up. That's as much damage as I'm probably getting here. Again, EQ. And just kind of stay in the back. Wait till the fight starts. Don't be greedy. I'm using it on... Braum because he's low. And oh. Alright. Just kinda stay in the back, not being too uh pushing too hard here. So at least we got one one kill there. I'm gonna try and get in the bush here, get my stacks up faster. There we go. Okay. Uh there's a wave going bot, so we'll go ahead and go there after this yeah that's what's up got red buff popping my pot because I think I'm going to be in lane just a little longer you know I'm going to see I still have enough for infinity edge now and we'll go ahead and grab our boots one after I want to push this here get some damage on the tower Oops. and they're both back so that's fine so Juani is bottom, so 
We'll respect that. And we'll go by. So looking at their team comps, Drani and Riven are probably going to go hard on me. So you kind of trying to dictate which direction you want to go, either Static Shiv or Phantom Dancer. Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to go Phantom Dancer. That's going to give me a little more crit. And uh, Phantom Dancer is really designated for single target damage. And Caitlyn really is a single target DPS ADC. So that's kind of the reasoning behind that. But I've done plenty of games where I do Static Shiv as well. So always be kind of communicating with your team. Hey, coming to Dragon. Make sure your ultimate's up. You can hover over your ultimate and see the range on it just in case they need that extra source of damage. Coming into this dragon, let's just lay some traps down. Love it, I love it. They're not around. Perfect. Let's just slow them enough. All right, they try oh, they're going ham, they're going ham. Stay in the back. Hope he canceled his TP. Again, another trap. Create a flash. I healed instead. Whoops. I'm an ultimate Vlad because he used his pool. Coming in hot, coming in hot. Alright, that's how they want to play this. That works for me. So after this fight, you know, we won the fight, we came out ahead, so you want to look for an objective. When I do towers, I like to put my trap down to kind of zone them out a little bit. And if you want, I think he's trying to go ham. Nope. Okay. No big deal. And we'll get this last wave here. So it's all about objectives. If if you've looked at my other videos, um, you know, I like getting kills and all that, but I'm really focused on getting towers and dragons because that's what's going to win you the game ultimately so they're all collapsing mid so I can actually steal another wave here and then get back all right it's all about getting that sneaky farm in and I'm out some things that you can do with your net, which is kind of nice, is you can E over walls and ledges. Like you can E here, or if you're in the dragon pit, you can E out of the dragon pit or baron pit. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Cool. And, you know, game's pretty, probably close to even. Both have one drag. We're up a few kills. But actually, we're up in towers, so we're up a little bit of gold, but definitely not enough to, to be comfortable. So throw down. Hey, guys, I'm coming. Now, when you before you start a fight, remember to throw down your traps. You can always put one kind of behind you, if you in case you need to kite back and force them to play around the trap. But the fact that you can have three out at a time, definitely don't want to waste that. Make sure you're putting your wards down. So we have a good vision here to be pushing this. And I'm... There's just one. Going for Vlad because he's the easy target. Put the trap down. Ultimate. Nope. Okay. Ultimate's up in three, two, one. <laughs> I just want my ultimate to go. Just let me hit some of my ultimate, please. Oh, Riven's coming after me. Alright. Just kiting around that. So I could net in. Is he going to ult? Oof. Is he, oh, he's such a beast. He's such a beast. A minute on my ultimate, though. Alright, we'll take the tower. Looking around their map. Can we take an objective other than this? Oh, boy. Peace. So if I was getting bottom, that's great. You know what? I don't want to be too greedy myself, so I'll go ahead and back. That was a good fight. Um, kind of, you want to stay in the back. Obviously, as ADC, you don't want to go too ham. Assess the situation, and then go in when you feel comfortable. 
Because you're no good dead. Wanna see a hat trick? Are they going to get Vlad? Look at those two traps. Someone is going to hit those traps. I can guarantee it. It's going to save some lives. I'm going to actually make my way up there. Instead of getting red. Alright, ultimate's up. Put a trap down. Ultimate might be able to kill. Two, one. I need some more. Once my net's up, I could probably EQ alt here. Oof. I don't want to be too greedy, but shoot, I'm close. Alright, they're coming, they're coming. Where are ya? Alright, looks like they're going bottom, so let's go ahead and push mid here. Oh. EQ. He has his pool, that's why I'm not trying to alt him, and they're just going to block it anyways. Oh, he hit a trap! Something you can do is, you can alt at the beginning of the fight, because if you wait till the end of the fight and you can't get a clear shot, that's almost wasted damage. So if you can get a clear shot on one of their squishies, you get the full damage in. Oh, okay. I'll put a trap down here. Stay out of it. Just wait, just wait. Alright. Alright, let's so Johnny, you're just looking for a fight, aren't you, buddy? Dragon's an 18. So at this point, we just want to kind of keep this ward coverage good and clear. Throw down the traps around dragon and really just try and get the objective here. Oh, he's gonna oh. He's gonna pull. I'm gonna wait. Focus on Riven. Focus on whoever that is. Oh! Too much going on. Too much going on. So focus on Ruin was good. And I was tempted to attack there. So Johnny, because he was so low. But we should have just backed out since we didn't land the hook and got Dragon. But that's okay. You know we're going to do some work? Nope. I think I got, I got one kill in that fight, so... We'll go bottom here. All right. Part of me tells me I could have played that fight a little better. But we're 4-1-6, so I'm not too worried about it. And we're up against our counterpart, Jinx, in CS. So. Dragon's down. Um, you know, Baron's not realistic just yet. So we'll just kind of push out these waves. And Brahms kind of middle, so we'll just push the wave one more. And let's roll. Let's roll. Going mid. Going mid. Collapse not for the team. Alt is ready. If they want to fight. Let's do it. Make sure we put our first trap down. You can always dance behind it later. I'm going to try and alt Jinx here. Boom. Peace. The Wombo, baby. Oh, this is so money. And we'll just take the tower. So if you know you're not going to get in there in time for the fight, but your alt's in range, then that's another time you can use it. Uh, again, we're just rotating for objectives. Nice and easy. We don't need to be greedy. Nice ward there. Again, we're sieging, so throw down the ward here. Oh, that was lower than I thought. And we'll back. Nice and safe. 
Finish up our fam dancer. And I'm gonna go for Last Whisper. They got Braum and Sidrani, who are pretty tanky. And uh, if you're in a, a game where you know you're not going against super tanks necessarily, then you can just you know go Bloodthirster. But that armor penetration is gonna be nice. Uh, give us some nice DPS. So. Alright, Rom's at Baron, Jinx is going bottom, she's going back to base actually, so. Just always looking at the minimap, seeing what we can see here. If we are pushing up, let's go ahead and, uh... oh, hello. I don't want to be too out of position. Just Johnny. So Johnny's definitely gonna be on our nuts. So I think I think there's gonna be a team fight coming up. Oh, he's gonna just watch the alt. If he alts, go for someone easier. I mean, you can get some harassing. Oh, the trap! Alright, we're kiting, we're kiting. I'm pretty low on health, so I just want to kind of stay back and poke when I can. Alright, boom, love it. We're going to go from tower. I'd say three for one. I'm happy. Go down our trap here. And get inhib. After inhib, you want to look for a different objective. You can go top. It's not a bad place to go. Now I need 1425 for my last whisper, so I'm gonna try and get this red buff here. Nope. The tower should give me it. One thing we want to be aware of is if we're t if we get this, but we're too low and we at the back, they could always baron. Lay down the trap. Oh. I'm out. Not good. We did not get that turret. <laughs> Run! That turret. I swear I had, I had that last hit. Alright, am I going Rambo here and getting it? I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm just like looking at the minimap in fear for my life. It's not worth. Not worth. I'm so scared. Yeah. We did get enough for our last whisper, so... Oh no! <laughs> Peace! Peace! My bad. See, the greed the greed got me. I just realized my camera, I'm like in the darkness of my room. So now that you have once you have one inhib down, it should be a systematic play. You basically push one other lane all the way to the tower. Wait till mid's pushing so they have to bring someone to defend, and then you can take down the tower easily. Or you set up a bunch of wards in their jungle, wait till the, it pushes, and then take a Baron. And so I'm going to go ahead and push, or at least stop top. Alti. They're going for Dragon. Third Dragon's not too big a deal. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Alright, I'm gonna go. Maybe I can get there in time, maybe I can't. Get our E here. Okay, nope. This would be a good chance to get Dragon because it's. Oh, I think they just got it. Baron would be a good choice too. Of course, Malphite's just backdooring, no big deal. Coming in hot. So this should be an easy Baron for us. I'm going to get there. Um, in any case, when you start Baron or Dragon, remember throw down your traps just to kind of zone them out. And they're not coming. So, cool. When you get Baron, your recall time is just crazy short. So, 
Just put a nice ward here. I don't necessarily need to go back this moment. Okay, my minions the buff here. And probably a little too far away from my team, so. And now that mid's down, we're just all going to roam top and push that nice and easy. I don't want to be the first one to head first. We'll let our tanks do that. Even though I've done that plenty of times. Traps do give you vision if you throw them in a bush as well. So. Use our pink. And just gain control of this. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to push the lane while my team kind of waits. Again, as we're taking this tower, try and lay down a mini barrier of traps. It's going to allow us to siege a little bit, so. And they're not going to defend it. Nice. Maybe we'll get there in time. I'm not sure. We'll take down Riven. Vladimir's next. We're going to heal my team just because I'm a boss like that. Take what's in front of you at this point. Oh, the heals. Oh, <laughs> Blitz. Alright, Brown. Peace. Oh. The snipe did not work. Uh, that's going to be game. So, oh. Pretty good game. Uh, like I said, a couple things I want to recap on. Uh, Caitlyn's really good in lane, either for being a bully or uh, CSing in team fights. Make sure you're positioned in the back. Use your traps. Remember to harass with your EQ combo. So if you liked what you saw, um, please throw down a comment if you have any questions or press that thumbs up button. It certainly helps me out. We got uh, 17 LP from that. And that's a little glimpse on how to play Caitlyn. So thanks for watching. Bye.